Every curious mind has lots of unanswered questions about our universe and celestial bodies. So, let's begin the question answer session. Sir, can you tell me whether the universe will ever end or not? Expansion of the universe, as I said, is an absurd fact. Or at least uh, the explanation comes naturally from our observations. And uh, it is believed, uh, at least theoretically one believes that if there is sufficient matter in the universe, then this expansion will slow down because the gravitational attraction of matter will pull the universe back into itself. But actually, current day observations in the last 10-15 years have suggested that the universe is not only not slowing down, but it's actually accelerating. Its expansion is accelerating, which means that the universe will likely expand forever and it will never come to a halt. So like you said that uh, the uh, universe would again come back to uh, one point. So would it happen ever that like the uh, universe is expanding right now? when the energy would be sufficient and then the matter would be contained to its last point then would that all be come in, uh, would like come to the uh, same point from where it began yeah if if the mass of the universe was sufficient if there was enough matter in the universe it will happen but what i said was that the current observation suggests that there is not enough matter not only there is not enough matter for reasons that we don't understand there is this something called dark energy which is actually causing the universe to move faster and faster. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. One of the competing uh, theories for the Big Bang is something what they call the Big Bones, where there were universes before, which expanded, then they collapsed again, and then again it burst and you know so on and so forth. Uh, there's not much evidence to show that that's, you know, that's actually going to happen, but it is one of the theories that... In this expansion, uh, is it possible that the planets will move away from their own suns, causing varied temperatures and changing in life forms? Uh, this expansion is happening on a much bigger scale. So you won't suddenly find that the Earth is moving away from the sun. right? So the Earth and sun are uh, a bound system, in that the Earth can't just escape and you know run away unless the sun you know, explodes or something. Uh, this expansion is more like it's moving two different galaxies apart from each other, right? Not necessarily on the scale of solar system or even, you know, one galaxy. Sir, can you tell me the rate at which the universe is expanding? The expansion of the universe is measured uh, in terms of a constant called the Hubble constant. And this expansion rate is uh, at the moment measured to be about 70 kilometers per second per megaparsec. It's this strange unit because as I told you, Objects move faster and faster as they're farther and farther away, right? But current observations also suggest that the universe is continuing to accelerate, which means it's moving faster today than it moved in the past. Thank you, sir. Sir, I would like to know how old is the universe? There are several ways in which one can estimate the age of the universe. Uh, one simple way of saying that is, for example, the age of the Earth gives you the minimum age of the universe because the Earth is part of the universe and we know that the rocks on Earth are about 4 billion years then the Earth, has, the universe has to be at least 4 billion years old. Similarly, you can estimate the age of some stars. So that gives you another lower limit. There are some stars which are 10 billion years old. So we know that the universe is at least 10 billion years old for certain. The most accurate estimate of the age of the universe comes again from this Big Bang model where if you know how this expansion of the universe is happening, you can work backwards and find out when the universe was extremely small, right? And that gives you the value of about 13.8 billion years and that's the accepted value at the present day. Right? Of course, one of the questions would be to try and find if there are any objects in the universe which are even older than this number. When that happens, then you will have to try to modify the theory to take into account Observations are different. Thank you, sir. If we find such objects, then will the Big Bang theory go fail? General rule in science that most theories are not proved wrong. They're usually proved to be an approximation of the next theory. One usually talks of uh, Einstein proved Newton wrong, for example, whereas that was not true. Einstein's theory of gravity only showed that Newton's theory was an approximation for a different part of the physical parameters. So similarly, my belief is that any other theory which comes, comes along 
will be an improvement or a refinement of existing theories. That's my that's my belief. But these are all really more of philosophical questions than uh, uh, any definitive answer on this. Thank you, sir.